So right now we're about ready to start on our making our iMovie. But in order to do that, you need to upload the photos that you would like to upload into your iMovie into iPhoto first. So to do that, open up iPhoto by clicking on the, this icon at the bottom of your screen. At this point, this screen or something like it will show up. You have several op options now. You can connect your camera or your insert your memory card and just upload pictures directly to this application. Or you can position your iPhoto screen in such a way that you can access your file that has all of your photos. All of my photos are in this file, iMovie file. At which point you click on the file and drag it in so you see this little green plus sign and let go of your cursor. Then all of your photos will upload themselves here. Or you can go to File, Import to Library, and then search through all of your pictures to find a picture that you would like to upload, and then click Import. You'll see that here. Not terribly good quality, but you know, it happens. Then go to Photos, and you'll see all of your pictures here that you've impl imported. Now you can close iPhoto, and then open up iMovie, which is this icon at the bottom, by clicking on it and this screen will appear. Now to begin with, you something that makes it a little bit easier for me is to do this little arrow button and that switches spots so that you have more space for this down at the bottom, which I find very helpful. Now move your cursor to this little camera icon over here in the middle right of your screen and click on it. And this is where your iPhoto will show up. You want to select photos and then click and drag all of the photos into this screen here. And you can drag more than one at a time by clicking, pressing the command button so that both are highlighted and then dragging them both in. And here you see all of your photos that you want in here. At this point you can move photos around by clicking on them so they're highlighted and then dragging them. Wherever this green little bar shows up, that's where it's going to be dropping. So I want that here instead. And you can delete images if you would like to by clicking on them so they're highlighted yellow and right clicking and selecting delete selection or cut. And then it's gone. This is kind of a timeline format. It shows you how long each image is going to show up. You can see up in this area of the screen when I drag my cursor it is like it's previewing the movie, just like that. I'm not even clicking, I'm just dragging. You can adjust the amount of time that each icon is taking up using this slider here. For instance, if I want each one, if I want to show things in one second increments, then I would do it there, and here I see four one second increments. Also, something that you would like to do right now is to click on this button right here so that it's highlighted blue and you see these gray boxes here. That's where your sound is going to go and it will be greatly beneficial to you to do that now so that you can see that here. You can also add movies to your iMovie if you would like to add movies in addition to your photos by clicking up in file and you can import it from your camera like just like when you were going to import your photos or you can go to import and then movies click OK, and then search through your computer for a movie that you would like. Once you find a movie, click on it to highlight it blue and select import. Movies will show up in this events area up here. You can do the same thing here by moving your cursor around and then it will show you what's going on in the film. In order to put one of these movies in, click on, double click on the image and then select done so that it's highlighted yellow. Then you can click with your little hand and drag it over and put it wherever you want in your iMovie and let go. Here you see that it has all of its audio and you see it in its clips. If you don't want the movie to be there actually, you can just highlight it again by double clicking and then cut by selecting cut. 